yeah welcome to all see here in the last video we see the how to read json file and display it into a data grid with the help of wpf mvvm pattern now see in the second part we already learn to read data from ui or accept data from user and save it into a json file now the next one is the part 3 in that we are going to learn update the json file so let's start it see here before starting i just run the application which we had created previously in first two video see this is the blank one once you click on show then it will display the all data which are present in your json file now let's see we are going to add new here i just typed it as a new entry new new here is the entry so that it could be better understanding the entry will be there now i am typing here number so last entry is the joy after placing add then the new entry will be appears after this joy see here okay now this new entry is appears here so now we are going to add here button for the update and bind this button with the update method so without wasting time let's do this Okay, here I am just copying this, so it will save our time. Here yeah. I name it as a update. Yeah. Now horizontal alignment is left due update. to this margin. Both are on a overlapped, so here I change the margin. Here, here, and make it as a. Ninety could be okay for me. Okay, so eighty. Yeah, seventy-five. Seventy. Okay. Now this update button is added here. We need to bind the command which we are going to create in a your view model right now. here the add command is there that means this add and the update will perform the same operation due to this command binding now let's first write the command for the add sorry for the update here is the command so now just create the new command so private pri now i command here sorry Okay, now I create update command semicolon. Okay, I just copy and we're going to create a new command here. Public I command. Initially we just define it. Now here is the implementation. of this command the command name is update so, command is, so method name is update now here is the property as we defined so that's why getter and setter is there we did not require to set the new property we just check it whether it is empty or not always it shows the given command is null so So after that, we'll perform operation here. The error is there because here double equals to is required. So now update command is equals to new called to delegate called new relay new relay. Now param. We are passing instance for this dot. 
here we are going to create a method in which actually we are running the operation for the updation so this dot will create the new let's say update json data okay so it could be easy and passing null value but so by default it's an consider as a true okay it's showing error because the same command is not present in the given instance of the class so here we are just create the private private because out of this class we are not ready to provide access of this command so uh, your model will not able to access but view will able to access this command through your view model and view model will take the data from view and communication it perform the communication between the view and view model via only sorry uh, view and model via only view model so let's try it so now here is the update here i am just checking whether this command will execute or not so message box dot show here update command press or update command call okay here using window okay so update json so command name is update command we just bind this command with your update button okay now okay, let's now run this Here. Okay, return. Okay. Here we miss because of get return. Yeah, then started. Yeah, started. Okay, this is your application. Now, these two are already running. Let us see whether by after clicking this update, the update message will appear or not. So, I just click it. So, just click. Yeah. yeah, update command is call. So, update command is call as we write here message. Okay. Sorry. So, let's stop it. Now write the code for that. Just make it as a disable. Here, see how to update the given JSON. So before updating, we need to select it. Select the row so that the data will be selected into an selected items as we already taken. See here, selected items binding selected person model as we create here the selected person model is the object for your model, model class, class that is the person, person model, model class. class so, so whatever, whatever it is selected is here means whatever, whatever on, on uh, which you are, uh, row you are click will be automatically selected and, and the same data bind to your first name last name age and, and the contact, contact number. number is it clear Simply, once you select the row, all data will be displayed here. Once the data will be displayed, we just update the entries and click on the update button. Then the data automatically updated on your list as well as your JSON file. Let's see. Let's see here. The logic is same as to add new, new data into a json here, here is the items. items dot add see item is your list this is your list which we previously defined, defined here, here. Items, items and having property get and set. set so 
here is the add then add what we are going to add is selected person. okay selected person model okay sorry here selected person model means what if uh, on uh, which row you are selected the data will be copied and add it into an your list after modifying so where now we have take one more variable where i name as updated json is equals to here we need to use json converter dot as the data is in simply text format so use serialization dot as data is simply text format so use here items okay here okay now we need a formatting so formatting dot indented so it will be display or save the data in a proper format now need to write this data into an write all text into an your json file okay by using the path at the rate here the file name is people data dot dot json and comma here which file you are going to provide to write on the json file into a json format so here the updated json is here now semicolon clear so after updating we need to call get list so we can see easily the data is updated okay so get json data this is the method name and at last we just show whether the file is updated or not see and i am going to show given okay given person data data is updated success fully okay let's try to build this let's okay succeeded let's start it okay first i'm going to show the exact what are what is the data is present see new entry is the last data now update suppose we are going to update this one instead of one data is present here i just type what is new here i type updated okay updated updated entry here instead of 40 okay. instead of 40 here we go for 33 here 111 so that it should be understand and click on the update button see here update okay okay let's see this is your json file now see what the error happens see last time we are going to modify so the show button suppose see this is the problem with appears once you modify this it will modify the existing one suppose we name as a new, new one new one one, one. rest of the things, things as it is and once you click on, on the modify then it will modify, modify existing one as well as it add the new entry also in your existing json now see new one one new one one entry say this is your json file let's find it see the two time entries are there so this is the big problem but the small solution is that see here is the update 
okay show so this is your json data from the json file json file is here now let's first file is the joy name is joy we just modify modify this joy as a suppose person suppose last int is a new data last int and yeah. suppose the age is 30 and here for better understanding 111 so as i enter person new data 3111 so instead of this this is the first entry joy jackson 28 and this here i click on the update okay so given person data is updated successfully because of this file is open here the update is not reflected i just close the solution so i close the running here See here, because of the open here, it will ask the reload the your JSON file. Yes, I just yes to all. Now see here, the data is updated successfully. We can see once again. So instead of joy, now the first entry is the person. Okay. So this is your it's a final solution. You can person. update any data. So put here one one. one. Here instead of one one, I just enter one mobile number. Suppose nine eight one 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 one. Okay. Now click on the update new one one. See update update. Okay. Show new one one. Click yes to all. So here the data is updated. Okay. New 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 new. Here is the new entry is there. So in this way, you can do the operations on your JSON file. Okay. So guys, feel free to contact me if you are facing any problem related to this one. I am also sharing the same code, uh, coding for the your study purpose for better understanding. You just refer the description box for the link of this runnable code. So guys, take care. So the next video will be for the deletion. How to delete data from JSON file? Okay, we will continue the same one. Continue the same solution for the next video. Okay, thank you.